and welcome back to another history special. And today I'm going to take a walk around the ruins of Luggershall Castle in Wiltshire. And it's just ahead of me through these gates. The actual castle itself is the uh, all that remains is the ruins of a, a 12th century 45, fortified royal residence. Um, medieval castle, uh, probably the first built in around the 11th century by uh, Edward of Salisbury, who was the, the sheriff of Wiltshire. By about 1100, it had passed to the possession of the crown and the history books record that a man called John the Marshal uh, who died in uh, 1165 was the uh, recorded as the, uh, the king's custodian of the castle. But it was in the reign of Henry III that the castle was extended further. He added the great hall and uh, also apartments for his son Edward as well. But walking around, there's a surprising amount that actually uh, that actually exists here. It must have been quite impressive in its day, looking at the, uh, the oh dear, looking at the size of the footprint of the castle and the height of the walls uh, in the moat around it. Because uh, what I'm walking on now is the uh, one of the outer defences, so there's been a moat uh, at once around the sides and the castle, this uh, this walkway here, this, uh, this mound goes around the outside of what was the uh, sort of the castle bailey, the outside of the castle grounds. It really is quite impressive. What remains of the old uh, medieval tower. For a ruin it's actually um, actually quite um, it's quite a lot here to be honest. Luggershaw was quite a, an important part in a uh, quite important location in medieval England. I'll just walk down here into the, uh, to the moat, across the moat, I think, or across the moat, yeah. Um, I was able to send two members of, uh, to Parliament, a privilege that it kept until the uh, Great Reform Act of 1832. But, wow, you can see the the sides of the moat, quite steep sides. Walking around what would have been the uh, back end of the castle, back into the, uh, of the tower of the castle. Let's just cross in here. And walk through this, what remains of the arch. Arch is quite thick, it's about five, six feet in thickness. And, uh, yeah, behind me it looks like a, probably a, a, a latrine area. Walking into the uh, main part of the castle, just going to turn round and look up at the tower. There's an interesting course of, uh, of bricks above that uh, entrance into the tower, quite sort of decorative. I wonder if they're sort of roofing tiles or something found from the Roman era that was incorporated into the uh, the outside to give it a quite an attractive look. But this part here, this is where the uh, this is the extension area. This is uh, the apartments that were built for uh, Henry the Third's son Edward. These took place, this was built in uh, around 1244, 1275. So just over nearly 800 years ago. Just under 800 years ago.
It's interesting looking at the, um, the brickwork in the walls. Unlike a lot of castles of the period, they used recycled Roman material. But I'm unable to spot any in the walls here. But the walls certainly are quite thick. So it's about five to six feet on the wall to the left of me. But just outside the castle, was the Great Hall. This is where King would have entertained and had banquets and just walk into the Great Hall and uh, would have been what a focal point of uh, medieval life. Wow. See the remains, about some, some steps or seating. Looks like seating on the, on the side of the wall. If it wasn't seating, then it could be some sort of uh, decorative area for, uh, that's for placing ornaments or candles or something. Uh, not too up on the intricacies of uh, the specifics of uh, medieval architecture. It really is quite interesting walking around here. It's only a small site, but at the end of the day, it's there's quite a bit to see. I'm just going to walk down into the moat, I think. Where are my footsteps? I see myself falling over. I've done that before now. Ouch! Slip there. Walk down into the moat and. There yeah, the sides of the, um, of the moat are quite steep here. You can see the solid brickwork at the base of the walls and the smooth outside, so clearly built to last. But it didn't last because it, uh, it fell out of uh, favour by the 1500s. It was no longer a royal residence by then, about 1532, 1530s I think it was. Um, but it passed down through uh, successive lines of the uh, of the royal family at the time, through the, uh, the 14th century and into the 15th, before finally being uh, abandoned. Private house was was built in the middle uh, of the land, and uh, a lot of the building, a lot of the rubble from the uh, the walls, were used as building material. But they kept the um, kept the tower. Uh, apparently it made quite a nice um, ornamental feature for the garden. I've heard that before uh, with other uh, ruined monuments and castles. But it's quite pleasant here. So there we go, this is uh, the ruins of Lagoshul Castle. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe. And of course you can watch these videos, the whole series, earlier on Patreon, if you subscribe to my channel on Patreon. There's also exclusive content as well, which is not available on my main channel. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon for another history special somewhere else.